Now to the fight to save the cheetah. These sleek and elegant animals are on the endangered list. There are only about 15,000 of them left in the world, mostly in Africa and in Iran. I recently traveled to South Africa where there is an extraordinary program to try to protect them. No creature on earth can outrun the cheetah 45 miles per hour in just three seconds. Even so, cheetah enthusiasts have found themselves in a race against time. Give me a Here at the DeVille Cheetah Center outside Johannesburg, South Africa, they are fully aware of the common portrait of the cheetah around the world, breathtakingly fast. But they are hardly as furious. They will not confront a leopard. Even a vulture can chase away cheetahs. So they are much more fragile than any of the other big cats. In recent decades, they've fallen victim to more than just their fierce cousins. They become the target of farmers who are desperate to keep their own livestock alive, often dinner for the cheetah. The cheetah then is, is oftentimes shot. Which is why they started this refuge in the foothills of South Africa. They saved the cheetahs, even giving farmers money not to shoot them. You don't go to him, he will come to you, and then eventually he will start seeing you as a friend. And how much does the tail weigh? I'm not too sure, but you can see it's, it's heavy. It's substantial. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Since opening in 1975, more than 750 cubs have been born here, an incredible feat since just 1,000 cheetahs remain in South Africa. Some of the cheetahs have been sent to American zoos here in Reno and in Cincinnati. But the move the center is most proud of is their return to the wild. Three captive cheetahs are right now as we speak being released. But it is not easy. First putting the cheetahs on hundreds of acres of land still surrounded by fence, an outdoor halfway house, they call it, to make sure the cheetah's skill of hunting hasn't been lost. They took us by safari. On our way, we passed through African wild dogs, who also live here, known for their pack mentality. Their sound reflects their readiness for the hunt. But we found it was the cheetahs who were most apprehensive. Of the 148 cheetahs released, only 60% have survived. It used to be when they would release a cheetah back into the wild, they would have no idea if the animal had survived. But they have a new tool now, a GPS tracking collar that they actually put on the animal. They're able to track its every move. The effort here has drawn visitors from all over the world, as far away as Memphis, Tennessee. Back in the States, we picture cheetahs as these predators on the prowl, but they're really uh, tremendous victims. Here, workers have not fully won the race to save the cheetahs, but it's clear the cheetahs have won their hearts. Mm -hmm. No question about that. And one final.